In this video, we have a fun visual mnemonic to remember facts about Staphylococcus aureus. So let's get started. So this scene starts with a king having a staff. So the scene is about Staphylococcus aureus. Now starting with the morphological features, the blue background has been used to indicate gram-positive bacteria. From the grapes, we know that these are cocci arranged in clusters. This king does no work and is always sitting on his chair, so we know that this is a non-motile organism. Let's see if we can find some media and colony characters. The golden crown on the king represents golden yellow pigment produced by Staph aureus on nutrient agar. Like all royals, this king also has particular interest in art. So, these oil paintings on the wall represent oil paint appearance on nutrient agar. The king has all sorts of pets, including a baby monkey with a pink flower on its head, which represents pink colonies on McConkey agar. The baby monkey has many toys, including a red bee block, which represents beta hemolytic colonies on blood agar. The salt on the floor indicates that Staphylococcus can tolerate 5 to 10 percent of salt. Thus, salt agar is used as selective media for them. Let's find out some biochemical reactions. The wine in the scene represents that Staph aureus can ferment many sugars, whereas the cat represents catalyst positive reaction. The jello on the cat's plate symbolizes Kogelis production by Staph aureus. Let's look upon some virulence factors produced by Staph aureus. The golden pendant lettered A worn by the king reminds us of an antigen called protein A on the cell wall. The cigar means that toxins are produced by Staph aureus. Let's see the pathogenicity of the organism. The king has a tissue in his hand with which he has wiped his nose. This reminds us that the most common site of carriage of Staph aureus is nose. Among superficial and deep infections, Staph aureus is the most common cause of skin infections along with acute endocarditis which can be represented by the toy car having a O at its end. Now we will see the toxin mediated diseases that are food poisoning, staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome and toxic shock syndrome. As you can see, the king has refused to eat and has even given his food to the cat. So we can know food poisoning from this. Also you can see the framed childhood photograph of the king in which he has skin disease which will remind us of staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome. In addition to toxin, cigar will also imply toxic shock syndrome. At last but not the least, let's see the treatment of staph aureus infections. The servant is bringing milk for the king and the milk has lactose. The lactose will remind us of beta lactams. A very important beta lactam called benzyl penicillin is used for treatment of staph aureus, but only if the organism is sensitive to penicillin. In other cases, like methicillin resistant staph aureus, the drug of choice is vancomycin.